Hi guys, so I've made a video about my attraction and sexuality before, but I unlisted it because it was just kind of awkward and the lighting was bad and it was kind of all over the place. So what I did was I actually searched on YouTube, um, I think like sexuality tag or something like that to try to get like a, a list of questions that I could answer to kind of make things more clear and help me um, keep a video on a coherent track rather than me just like rambling and being awkward. So I found this one. It's a bit old. I'm a bit late to this tag, but I think it'll be perfect. I have the questions here. This is a tag created by Kovu Kingsrod and I didn't know who he was before. I just found him through searching for a tag, but he seems cool. I subscribe to him. All right, so here we go. Question one, in terms of romantic attraction, wanting to do romantic things like going on dates, etc. What genders, if any, are you attracted to? Um, romantic attraction, for me, I think that would be all genders because yeah, all genders. I could be romantic with anyone, I think. Um, in terms of sexual attraction, wanting to engage with sexual, wanting to engage in sexual activities with someone, what genders, if any, are you attracted to? Now, this is an interesting question. I guess none and also all because I, I don't feel sexual attraction for people I don't know even if they're very aesthetically pleasing. So I feel attraction when I get to know someone and I fall in love with them and then that's when I feel sexual attraction attraction towards them. But I think that potential is there for all genders. In terms of aesthetic attraction, who you find physically attractive, you're drawn to their beauty and want to keep looking at them like you'd want to keep looking at a beautiful sunset. What genders, if any, are you attracted to? Um, girls, women, females. I love to watch Shakira music videos back to back for hours. In terms of sensual attraction, who you want to cuddle with, hold hands with, rub your back, etc. What genders, if any, are you attracted to? Um, for this one, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say guys because just because um, that's what I've experienced. Uh, my partner right now is a guy and he's the only person I've ever felt that for, so... I actually, I used to think that was kind of gross, like cuddling and being touched and stuff. I couldn't really see like why people would want that until I got into a relationship and then I kind of realized that I do want it and I like it a lot, so... In terms of emotional attraction, you want to get to know them deep down, have vulnerable conversations, you seek each other for emotional support, what genders, if any, are you attracted to? all genders for sure do you get crushes on people what genders if any i get crushes on celebrities and like people i see on instagram i don't really get like crushes on people i know in real life i would say i get crushes on celebrities like megan fox and that's like probably most of it um like hot girls um I get crushes on people I see on Instagram, and I think a lot of them are actually like kind of more androgynous or like non-binary maybe, I don't know, like, and then I don't know, maybe I get crushes on like guy celebrities sometimes, I mean, that happened a lot more when I was younger, but it was definitely a thing, so I remember this was like years back, but I was hanging out with like these guys at this like random kickback or whatever, and I was talking with this guy about like celebrity crushes and I think we were naming like like five top female celebrity crushes and we both like named five or whatever and then he told me to name like five guys and I couldn't think of a single one like I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't come up with a single male celebrity crush he was naming like actors and he was like what about like this actor or this actor and I was like no is it just me? I'm gonna just put an unpopular opinion in here real quick. A lot of male actors that girls seem to like, maybe not just girls, like girls and guys, fangirl and fanboy over. 
are really just not very attractive. <laughs> like Ryan Gosling, for example, to me, he's like the most plain, average, wouldn't look twice at, random man. I don't get why people are obsessed with him at all. Um, but if you are, that's totally fine. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you how I feel. That one's just like everyone. But it's like a weird type of crush, like it's not like a I wanna have sex with them crush, you know what I mean? It's just like a I'm drawn to them for whatever reason type of thing. Do you want to date and or be in some kind of exclusive exclusive relationship with someone? Um, yes, I am in one. Hell yeah. Do you want to spend the rest of your life with someone what genders um again male because that's my partner who i want to spend the rest of my life with so but like that being said before i met him i would have answered that question as all genders in fact i remember thinking like i'm either gonna end up alone or like maybe i'll meet a girl <laughs> and i'll end up with a girl this is not how i expected things to go but this is how they went do you want children and do you want to conceive them yourself? Um, absolutely not. I do not want children. Do you feel comfortable with holding hands and with what genders, if any? Um, yes, I do like holding hands a lot. I like, I hold hands with people who I'm not even romantic with. I've held hands with like most of my friends. I've held hands platonically with a lot of people. I'm like such a slut. Do you feel comfortable with hugging and what genders, if any? Yes, I love hugging. I, I like to hug people as a greeting. I like hugging. Do you feel comfortable with cuddling and what genders, if any? Um, yes, I feel comfortable with cuddling. Again, my partner is a guy. The potential would have been there for all genders. Do you feel comfortable kissing and making out with what genders, if any? Um, this, that would be all. I mean... Of course, now that I'm in a relationship, the only person I want to do that with is my partner, but um, back in the day, I used to, I don't know, I used to like kissing a lot of people, especially, um, in fact, pretty much exclusively when um, drinking alcohol. <laughs> Doesn't matter their gender. Do you feel comfortable going all the way and what and with what genders, if any? Um, I guess I kind of answered this before. I said, like, I don't feel that type of attraction to random people, so I can't really say um, if it would be there until I feel a strong emotional bond with someone. Is romance important to you in a relationship? Um, it's... It depends how you define romance. I don't even really know if I know what that means. Um, I think above all else your partner should be your best friend and yeah you should be there for each other and you should be emotionally um, available to each other and I guess that can be considered romantic like when you have really deep uh, conversations and connections with people but in terms of like um, like surface level romance, like getting me flowers, going on cute dates, like none of that happens, like that's not important to me at all. I kind of see romance as like, like a connection type thing and that's important to me. So yeah, I don't know. Do I have like the wrong idea of what romance is? Maybe. Is sex important to you in a relationship? If, um, it's important to my partner, then yes, it's important to me. If I had a partner who was asexual and didn't want anything to do with sex, that would be totally fine. Out of everything, what is the most important to you in a relationship? I think it's the emotional connection. Yeah, it called emotional attraction here, I guess. Um, Get to know them deep down, have vulnerable conversations, and seek each other for emotional support. That one stuck out to me, um, at least in this like list of things, um, as the most important. I do need 
emotional connection and emotional support and like a deeper connection than you would have with someone you don't know as well. I definitely need that emotional stuff. Um, do you identify with any labels and what do they mean to you? Um, I, I actually, it's really hard for me to identify with labels. I kind of don't really, um, when people ask me what my sexuality is, I kind of say like pansexual slash bisexual, which I don't know if I feel deep down that those are fitting because I don't know. I also fit with like demisexual because you know, not feeling sexual attraction to someone <clears throat> until um, I feel the connection. Yeah, overall, I just don't really like labels because it's kind of hard to like put all of this information into like little boxes. So yeah, that was my attraction tag. I hope someone found this interesting or whatever. Um, shout out to Kovu. That's a pretty cool name, by the way, for making this tag. And if you end up making this tag, anyone watching this, um, you can like link the video or whatever so I can see and or like list them in the comments. That's cool, too. I like hearing about other people's experiences. It's really interesting to me as someone who doesn't really have a conventional experience with attraction. So I hope you guys like this and subscribe if you want. I make videos that are about lots of different things. Yeah, and hopefully I'll have more Halloween videos coming out soon because it's Halloween month, but I just wanted to film this one really quick for this week. So, okay, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.